Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today's J. Henry Day, as they say. I, I don't know who says that. Maybe I just say that. I don't know. So, J. Henry, who the heck is J. Henry and why should you care? J. Henry is a craft distillery in Wisconsin. And they make bourbon. And they do finished bourbon. They do single barrel bourbon. They do all kind of bourbon. They have a rye coming uh, very soon. And I'm super excited to try that. And what is cool about these guys is they grow a lot of the grain that goes into this distillate right on their farm. Let's see how they are. Let's just see. Let's see if they're good. Holy crap, let's see. Mm -hmm. Stop it. This distillate right on their farm, on their own farm. Which is freaking awesome. I think they grow everything but the barley. I think everything but the barley. But the barley is also sourced from Wisconsin. So this is a five year single barrel. They call their single barrel products the Patton Road Reserve. This is a five year old, basically store pick, single barrel. It was barrel number 600. Now, I don't know how their barrel numbering system works because this is their eight-year-old and it's barrel number... See, now, why am I dumb? Why didn't I get that no shit, this might be a lower barrel number than this one because it's older? Duh, they're from the same stock. Man, sometimes sometimes after you film a few videos, you, your brain just goes... Wah, 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 and says dumb shit, obviously. So this is barrel number 227. So... This is this barrel was actually filled before this barrel was and has sat in the warehouse longer. <laughs> Dang, sometimes I gotta <laughs> these are four grain bourbons, if memory serves correctly, and they are let's see how they are. Let's just see. Let's see if they're good. Holy crap, let's see. Mmm. The first thing I get is like hazel. This is the five year. <clears throat> it's like hazelnut. It's like chocolate and nutty at the same time. Like a peanut brittle that's been just coated with chocolate. <sighs> and honey. And there's something spicy hanging out in the background with a little bit of a little bit of jalapeno pepper juice was dripped on top. <sighs> just, just stop it. Just stop it. This is the eight year. Oh, this layers in all kinds of nice, rich oak. Oh, song gone. Song were gone. I just, I'm falling more and more in love with craft distilleries. You can keep your Buffalo Trace, you can keep your other stuff. And I just, I want to go around the country and taste these little craft distilleries and find out about all the stuff that I've been totally missing out on because I don't even know it freaking exists. You know, I, I did a, a post on Instagram and Facebook and, and I said, Tell me the best distillery from each state. No sourcing. No source stuff. I want to know the best distillery that makes their own stuff. And, and on Instagram, it was great because I, I had everybody tag the distilleries. And there were probably 50 or 60 distilleries that I've never even heard of before that I'm now looking into researching stuff that I never see here in Florida that I want to now try. And so I, one of the, I think the top distillery that was mentioned for Wisconsin was J. Henry. 
So, and there are multiple other good distilleries in Wisconsin. But Jay Henry is going to be a name that you're going to know in the near future. I think Wisconsin it has a burgeoning whiskey bourbon scene that is going to force people to take notice in the next few years. And, and part of it is because of the temperature swings in Wisconsin. You know, it, when, if you're aging a bourbon in an old rustic farm barn like these guys are, with the big barn doors open all year long, and your temperature swing is, is 50, 60, 70 degrees from morning to night, that oak is interacting the out of that whiskey. And it's just in and out of that barrel and just really doing some work. And it tastes and smells in the whiskey. Eight years of that treatment, eight years of that abuse, of that Wisconsin abuse. Man, all right. Did I taste that one yet? Or have I just been talking this whole time? I don't think I tasted that one yet. Okay, let's taste that one. If I did, I did. We're gonna go again. Oh. 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 Man. You know, <clears throat> I like to be positive and gr you know, always grateful and and really super honest with you guys. I think that Spanx, three quarters of everything on the shelf behind me. It's just the depth, the depth of flavor and the layering of flavors that is just so rich and so complex. And none of the complex, rich notes are fighting with each other. They're just like handing off the ball from one flavor to the next. You know, oh, you're tasting this, now taste this. Now you're tasting this, now taste, now taste this. And it's just, it goes by you like a freight train. Almost too fast to, to really grab anything. But you're like, oh, 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 there, you know, new flavor, new flavor, new flavor. And, and it's just such an enjoyable experience. Wow. Okay. Eight year. Let's see if the eight year improves over the five year. Three more years of Wisconsin bad weather. I say bad because I live in South Florida and it's, I don't know, 85 degrees outside right now. And it's cold as shit in Wisconsin right now. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Oh, it's everything that was with a more prominent oak and chocolate caramel gooiness on top. Oof. Now, I got to shout out my buddy, Kevin Tabear. He helped me get both of these bottles, and I'm forever grateful for this guy. He's one of my patrons, and and we've we've uh, swapped a whole lot of bottles over over the past year or two, and, and he's a freaking great guy, great guy. So, thank you so much, Kevin, for helping me get these. Holy jamote. This eight year, it, you know, it's funny the other day, the other day I did a, a post, a couple posts about Barrel King and on Instagram, somebody called me or said that, that my page was becoming a Barrel King shill 
page. <laughs> and I, my comment back was, man, most people tell me that I'm a J. Henry shill page, so this is new to me. But I... J. Henry, for whatever reason, just absolutely fits my profile, my tasting profile. I, I don't think I've had anything from them that I don't like yet, so... But I'm gonna keep exploring. Maybe I'll find something I don't like. I'll, I'll let you guys know if I find something from J. Henry that I don't like. Well, anyway, thanks for watching me shill for J. Henry. This this video is sponsored by J. Henry and Sons, except they haven't paid me a dime, so, you know, good stuff. Thank you for this, J. Henry. And thank you, Nancy. I know you have a hand in these. Nancy Fraley uh, helps J. Henry with a, a lot of stuff and blending and helping him pick special barrels to go into their Patton Road program. So, uh, wow. Awesome. I love awesome bourbon from a craft distillery that's not so mongo that they control a huge portion of the industry. I like authentism, authenticism? Authentic people who are putting out good, amazing bourbon and doing it their own way. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.